today we have an interesting problem, dirty fuel tanks. And you know why that's an interesting problem? Because it causes the fuel pumps to go bad. Holy smokes. Richard Young is with us today from Airtex, and he's going to help us understand a little bit about, wow, how do we prevent fuel pumps from looking like this? Well, Jim, that's an interesting question. Um, a lot of people look at a fuel system, look inside the tank, and really don't believe that there's any contaminants in there. But you're talking about a pump that operates at less than half a thousandth tolerance. So a little bit of grit can really cause a problem. Half a thousandth? Yeah, less now, than half a thousand. Less than half a thousand. That's really, really pretty yeah. small. I would imagine any amount of grit whatsoever can get in there and start to cause some problems. You are going to see some contamination go through the pump, and the pumps will handle some. But when that level of contaminants gets too high, it just eats the pump up. And we've seen plenty of that. Yeah, absolutely. Here are some pumps that uh, have been returned, I understand, actually from customers mm -hmm. in the field. And, and I can see that uh, these lines should be clear or perhaps a, a, a light tan in oh, color. Yeah. And this one is just virtually black. Yep. Um, this one here looks a little bit more like normal, but I can see all kinds of sediment and stuff all around the pump. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with this one. So. Let's talk a little bit about um, preventing a problem like this. So in your opinion, uh, what would be the proper step-by-step -step procedure, do you think, for installing a fuel pump, um, getting the tank clean, I suppose, and make sure it's going to work right? Well, I mean, obviously, a fuel pump, when it fails, the vehicle's got several thousand miles on it. And that's going to be a buildup of sediment in the tank from that. And, and one of the key things is to clean the tank. Now, we on the tech line, we'll get calls, and they'll say, well, we put a new fuel filter on. But most systems, the fuel filter is after the pump, so it doesn't really protect the pump. The only, the only thing that protects the pump is the actual strainer on the bottom of the pump. And, and the micron, these are usually about a 33 micron filter. So it's still, there's quite a bit of contaminants can filter through that. Okay, I understand that. So irregardless if the filter is changed every time, like it should be. No, oh, absolutely. Um, the tank still needs to be clean. And like you said before, I mean, I've looked inside the tank and it looked pretty good to me, but yeah. um, a as we can see here, um, way back in the crevices, mm -hmm. uh, we can see contamination inside of the tank. And uh, wow, that was a pretty good example right there, wasn't yeah. it, of what yeah. you can absolutely. actually see in a tank. Absolutely. And that all has to be cleaned out. What's a good way to do that? Really, we suggest, uh, if at all possible, if it's a metal tank, you can steam clean it because the metal tank can't handle that. But a plastic tank won't handle steam cleaning. So then you're looking at like a mild detergent in warm water, dry it out the best you can, and actually let it set out in the sun and let it dry. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Yeah. Too bad it doesn't get done more <laughs> often, right? It doesn't get done very often. Okay, if you have a metal tank and you don't have a steam cleaner, maybe you could send it like to, uh, what, a radiator, radiator shop? Radiator shop can hot tank it, yeah, absolutely. Okay, something like that, great. All right, so there you have it. Um, besides all the normal stuff that you do for uh, putting in a fuel pump, uh, making sure that you got a new uh, sock filter on there, clean that tank is so important. And if you do that, you'll have a whole lot less problems with fuel pumps going bad. And I think that we and you will have a whole lot less coming back as alleged defectives that really got dirty because the tank was dirty. Absolutely.